Now we're going to begin the long, arduous process of tuning in the acoustics of our sonoluminescence system. Here's our setup. We've got a function generator right here. We can sweep frequency. We're just going to go max amplitude. Uh, ground is going to the bottom of a current sensing resistor, 1.2 ohms. And then we've got the transducer. Top of the transducer is going back to the positive from the function generator. We've got uh, channel one is on the current sense resistor. Channel two is on the transducer itself. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sweep that frequency and look for special stuff happening on the oscope. Three and a half kilohertz, let's start sweeping. Oh, look at that. Yellow guy starts to do something. So he's right around 40 kilohertz. Okay, that makes sense because our transducer is 40 kilohertz and the drive circuit's 40 kilohertz. But we've got some other stuff going on because we're not getting resonance yet. So watch this. See the yellow guy does weird stuff. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Oh, look at that right there. That is, that is crazy. Yellow guy is really high. That's about 105 kilohertz. That fun stuff there should be happening at 40 kilohertz and it's not. So we fundamentally have to remachine this probably to get a half wavelength across that sphere diameter. A lot of these off the shelf um, drive boards are basically like what they call a Jensen topology. And it's difficult to inject a signal into that from a microcontroller. I wanna have complete waveform control for these transducers because I wanna be able to do creative stuff in the frequency domain. So I'm probably gonna do ESP32 to class D audio amp Step it up with the transformer per transducer, one to 200 volts. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Um, if this gets big enough, it'll be successful enough to where maybe we can all have safe Rojas-style fusion in our homes someday. Thanks so much for watching. Adios.